Welcome back. I'm Dave from Retired Time Productions, and we're talking about FPV here as we have been in the past few videos. Now, my uh, Skywalker came in, and this is an 1880 millimeter wingspan. Here's one of the wings here. Put two of those together, and you get about six feet. So, this is a good platform to carry FPV equipment. I'll probably be doing a build video on this later, but what I want to talk about today is the placement of the FPV equipment on this plane. So I'm going to go in and talk about uh, the LRS, which is a long range system. I'm going to talk about the video system. I'm going to talk about the telemetry system and the autopilot and GPS, various things, uh, on screen display, OSD and uh, just show you where I'm thinking about putting all these systems on the plane. So let's take a look at that now. Okay, I've got the Skywalker plane laid out on the bench here. And let's talk about the LRS first. In this case, I'm using the Easy UHF transmitter uh, from Immersion RC, but it could be other brands. Uh, some common ones are, for example, the Dragon Link or the Open LRS. But I think the confusion with the term LRS is uh, you, it's hard to tell what is really meant by LRS. It means long range system, but what system are we talking about? That's the thing. I think they should probably say, you know, it's a remote control system because what it's going to do is enhance your radio for long distances, like two, two kilometers or more. You'll have to pardon me, I'm getting over cold. <clears throat> but. So what this does is make my radio have greater range. And that's handy for FPV because you often fly a little further than you would normally. You get those goggles on or be looking at the screen and you might just lose track of where you are and you'll be pretty far away just enjoying yourself flying around. So you need a long range system. Well this this end of it, the receiver end, looks pretty familiar. It's pretty much like any other RC receiver. It has uh, outputs there that go to your servos and whatnot. So it's not all that different. Nothing to be surprised about. And we'll probably just install that right in here in the uh, fuselage of the plane. And I want to get these outputs close to where I'm going to have my other gear. For example, my autopilot. But in the same turn, I need to connect up these cables here that go to my servos that are way in the rear in the tail here. Okay, the next uh, caveat was it has an antenna just like some of these other systems and if we were to just place the antenna here it would probably be too close to the other antennas that I'm going to have like the one for the video or maybe the one for the telemetry and uh, there's also a GPS which is actually a receiver so we don't want to cram all that stuff together so what I've done is I've ordered an SMA extension cable it's an RF coaxial cable just so I can get my antenna down here at the end on the tail so that's where that's going to go so receiver here antenna down here at the tail for this particular system and what is the other part of the LRS going to do well this part is going to go onto my DXA and uh, it could plug into other brands of radios. It doesn't have to be a spectrum. You just need a different cable. So on the back of the radio, that'll be placed right here. And when I plug it into the trainer port, it'll deactivate the internal transmitter that's in this radio. And this one will take over and become a long-range system. So that's the first system. The second system I want to talk about, which is going to be mounted on the front of the plane, is going to be the video system. Now this is usually uh, comprised of a camera, a transmitter, a video transmitter, which also transmits audio as well. So you can have audio and video. You can have a microphone on here. And then there might be a pan tilt unit for the camera and that's optional. Okay, so I'll probably mount those things on this pod. This is a 
Skywalker pod that I purchased along with a plane from BevRC. And what I plan to do is mount the video transmitter right there or maybe down in here. We'll see. Uh, the camera gimbal will probably go like this. And then the camera will mount on that. So that's the second system. And the uh, transmitter and receiver were from Readymade RC. And it's uh, one nine. Actually, it's a 900 to 1.3 gigahertz uh, receiver. But the transmitter is mainly 1.3 or I think it's 1258. You can select between those two. Should say on the front of it here. I think you can read that. 1258 or 1280. Oh, excuse me. Okay, 12, 1280 or 1258. 800 milliwatts. And the uh, patch antenna looks like this. And that hooks on the receiver. So that is the second system. Okay, so basically the the LRS here for the control of the airplane and the video system is really all you need to fly FPV you could get away with just those two systems but most of us also would like to have OSD or on-screen display and I've got a little interface board here called the Minim OSD that I'm going to be using but there's other OSD units that you can get out there, there's plenty of them uh, this Minim OSD happens to go with the third system that I'm going to be using, which is an autopilot module. And keep in mind, uh, this is just what I'm using. Other people might be using, say, the Storm OSD that has a, a sort of an auto autopilot built in, but it's not as fancy as this. But it'll do the same job, basically. Uh, okay, so this is the third system. That's my autopilot, also called the Arju Pilot from Arduino. And it comes with a GPS global positioning system receiver right here. And a power module where you can feed your battery in and put the battery voltage on the on-screen display. And my plans are to mount this right on top of the plane, right in here, where it's close to the LRS receiver, where I can just hook the wires very short distance from here to there to hook up my wires. So the uh, output from the receiver will go into the inputs on the Arju pilot, and the outputs of that will go to my servos to run my control surfaces. So that's that's basically the third system. I'll probably put the power module down inside here where it can be connected to the battery which will be mounted right in this area. By the way, on this Arju pilot system I think I'm going to put the GPS and compass unit probably up on top of here or maybe down on this little area there so the cables will be long enough and that's a good place to be up on top there. Okay, let's talk about the telemetry. So the uh, telemetry units are actually another radio system. And there is one here called the air radio, which will be mounted on the plane. And I'm thinking about mounting that. I'm thinking about mounting that right here on the tail of the plane. And then uh, I'll have to make up in a little extension probably just three wires it'll come back and connect onto the uh, telemetry radio plug right here and what that'll let me do is uh, send telecommands and receive telemetry data from the Arju pilot while it's in flight and the other part of this radio system the telemetry radio system is similar to the first one except instead of having this FTDI connector here uh, that connects the Arju pilot 
it has a USB interface and it plugs into a computer or a laptop where you can run the software which is called the Mission Planner and uh, work with all that data. Okay, so that's four systems right there. We got the LRS for control of the plane. We got the video system so we can see where we're going. We have the autopilot which will actually control the plane all by itself but it also provides other features such as uh, auto leveling, return to home, and uh, stabilize mode, various other things. It just goes on and on. And then the fourth system is the telemetry system, which I just talked about. Also, of course, there will be a prop drive motor to fly the plane and an electronic speed control to run the motor. So the next phase is uh, mounting all this on the plane in a more permanent fashion. But I hope this sort of gives you an overview of what the different FPV systems look like and how they all go together to form a complete package.